Indeed, it's time for Bet or Forget. I'm Britt Taylor. He's Wayne Hawks. Wayne, bet or forget, Australian stewards should only be issuing fines and not suspensions. Britt, I bet the punter wants to see fines, not suspensions. No one wants to see a jockey on the sideline. Especially the punter. He wants to be able to back his or her favourite jockey week in, week out. No doubt. I don't think anybody wants to see the best jockey sidelined in the best races of the year, but imagine the sort of behaviour if there was only a financial sanction. That's not going to be enough to deter someone from tightening one up or making sure that they get in where, where they need to. The Hong Kong system works where they don't get suspended as much, they get more fined so that we can see the jockeys out. If you put your trainer's hat on, your booked old mate for next week, he or she can't ride the horse. Major stuff up sometimes. Yeah, and therefore the jockey will not want to let the trainer and owner down, so they'll be more careful. At the end of the day, punters want to see jockeys out there riding week in, week out. Punters don't care about the stewards room. Hey, Britt, what about this for an idea? Friday night's meeting at the Valley, scrap it. Let's put it on Saturday, have a super Saturday of 12 or 14 races. Bet or forget? Oh, forget. I actually really like the Mooney Valley double. I think there's something about Mooney Valley night racing that's a bit of a flagship for Mooney Valley that people know it for. So I actually like the idea of starting with the entree on the Friday night, that Mooney Valley Gold Cup will be a ripper, and then roll it into the Cox Plate on a Saturday. Yeah, maybe, but then we could also run some races late on a Saturday, and that would uh, go into the evening, because we do have the lights at the Valley. Mm, it's not quite the same, I don't think. I, I like the, the entree Friday night, main course on Saturday. I think it's a really good sporting weekend. Let's just go for one meal. Make it Saturday. Big Super Saturday. 30 minutes between races. Bang, bang, bang. Makes you want to go to the course. Hey, West Wind Blows has got everybody talking this week, Wayne. Bet or forget, international horses should be able to have two runs before the Melbourne Cup. I think forget it. Britt, the rule's in place for one reason. Over the last 10 or 15 years, there's been horses coming out from Europe that have been going amiss. It ain't the Aussie horse. He's been good. It's our compadres overseas that have been stuffing the show. You've got a horse that's going super. He's finished second in his two races in Australia. Why don't we just put a whole nother layer of protection here? He has to go through the CT scan again, strict vet protocols, and if you tick that box, then you can run. Do it on a case-by-case -case yep, basis. Yep. You know what? You're probably, you're probably right. But the rule states right now, two runs, that's it. So that rules him out of the Melbourne Cup. Where the, where the anomaly is, though, is that he can run Cup Week, but he just can't run in the Melbourne Cup. That's the big $64,000 question. Which is exactly right, which means it's it's not so much a welfare thing as it is a perception thing. Now, we know how high profile the Melbourne Cup is, and we do not want anything going wrong in that race, but we don't want anything going wrong in any race. So the Aussie blokes didn't stuff this, the Europeans did. So, unfortunately, they have to eat some of their own medicine and go through these strict criteria because we have to do whatever we can to protect the Melbourne Cup. No, I think that's one we can agree on there. That's been Bet or Forget for another week. We'll catch you again next week. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.